don't worry about the red light will come on. Thank you. So once again, you know, person Sam, blah blah blah. So I'm here with Gabrielle Guma, and basically he played for me tonight. He played a couple times for me, but he's really part of the band Grind City, and he started out when I found him. Kansas City. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I found myself in Philadelphia um, one way or the other, but I come from uh, all kinds of places. Born in Ethiopia. If you didn't know, he has an accent. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I'm not from around here. You know. But yeah, so I had a band called Tangible Truth. We did our thing in our days, and uh, now I do the rock thing. That's how, you know, I met Marquetta. Hold on, Tangible Truth was kind of like a rock band. It was. It was. It was like a guitar-oriented sound, but it was kind of like an in the new soul genre, but it had a rock feel, you know. So, we kind of stood out, you know, at the time where everybody was playing keyboards, like having the roots type of sound. Here we come with distorted guitars. It was, it was different, you know. So, but I kind of left the whole Neo Soul thing alone and I kind of went back to my real roots which is rock and roll and it feels good it feels really really good Grand City we're doing our thing so it's, it's really cool it's really cool what made you want to pick up what made you want to pick up the guitar um kind of like everybody that you know starts at first you know you just want to learn a couple of chords you know because you have an interest in music a little bit I didn't know it was something that I was going to end up doing but kind of once I started I just didn't put the guitar down. It just never occurred to me to stop. It was, I love doing this and uh, the more I would learn, the more I wanted to learn. And then, you know, I, I didn't get, I didn't, I wasn't happy with just learning one style of music. I wanted to learn it all. I'm kind of greedy that way when it comes to it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good because um, it kind of opened up like the spectrum of music very early. Like in a couple of years, so I was like studying six hours a day. So in a very little amount of time, my mind went like right into the music and I'm, I'm stuck in it now. What can you do? That's always good. And if you didn't know, he is a Philadelphia dancer. Well, a former, yeah. Well, a former. It doesn't make yeah. you still teach, right? Yeah, I do that. I do that during the day. I teach ballet. That means you're very flexible, ladies. Put the leg up. Honestly, when I found out he was like a little bacon dancer, I just, I just thought it was like such an awesome thing. Like, you know. So, where are you from exactly? I was born in Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, in Africa. At age two, I moved to Italy. That's where my accent is from. After high school, I came to the U.S. How many languages do you speak? Well, really, right side. But uh, I'm making some. But that's still more than any American anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I had to learn English too, otherwise. How, how do you communicate? Besides the guitar. Right? I got that. <laughs> but check him out. Grind City. Gab Guma. G A B G U M A. Guma. Exactly. And he's on Facebook. What? Yeah, Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. The typical Reverb Nation. Stuff. Pretty much anybody that's doing something is on the basic Be stations on. or channels <laughs> of communication. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Love you here. Oh, sorry. No, what's your girl's name? Deja. No, please don't go hold it against me. Oh, it's all good. All right, bye. Yeah.